Thank you very much. Okay, we'd like to officially open up the um, Africa for the Africans Opportunities in Africa Conference 2023. You are welcome to Ghana. Give yourself a round of applause for making that journey. My name is Brother David Jawara. I am the conference coordinator for Ghana. And I am really blessed and thankful and honored to be a part of this great movement, which I consider uh, a prelude to the liberation of Africa completely. Uh, Africa will not be successful or be free until you come home to help make it happen. So this is part of the dream manifesting. So at this time, we're going to open with a, a prayer or a moment of silence, whichever our brother choose. But as you know, we're spiritual people and we're not religious people. I'd like to call our brother, brother um, Edwin, to open us up platform. Uh, greetings, brothers and sisters. May we all be rising just to know the divine guidance. Yeah. Almighty Creator, Mother and Father of the Universe, we invoke your divine guidance and blessings. We ask for wisdom, for understanding, and for good engagement as we meet with brothers and sisters who have made a complete journey to come back, defying all odds, let our union bring forth fruits, those that our ancestors wished for. We ask these mercies and grace in the name of our ancestors, our spiritual guides, our guiding angels, all the prophets of the truth. Asim. 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 Thank you very much. Okay. We are officially uh, open, and it's no coincidence that you're here. You're here by providence. We're here to continue the dream. And we as a people have returned to our land to join forces with our brothers and sisters that have been here all the time. I call it the Great Family Reunion. The Great Family Reunion. We have been divided for so many years. Now it's time for us to unite. And our unity will become stronger, we become healthier, we become wealthier, and we become those gods and goddesses that we have been destined to become. So give yourself a great round of applause. But that's who you are. You're much bigger than what we have been programmed to believe. And don't take it lightly that you have the power to do anything you really want to do. So again, this is about investment in Africa. This is about, this conference is about helping us to unite, to make Africa great again, to make our homeland. Because if Africa is not strong, then those of us in the diaspora, we're not strong. Africa is the place where we can truly be free. And I'm speaking from experience. I left America at the tender age of 33. And I can say I went from rags to riches, from death to life. And I get younger every year. I took my money from America, I brought it to Africa, invested in a 50 acre farm. And in this farm, it's a food forest. I go, I breathe fresh air, I get away from the noise, the crowd, and I talk to the animals, the animals talk to me. I meet angels, I meet great people, and I become alive again, because they took us from our land and they put us in those concrete jungles. And they, it's like a matrix, you cannot, you cannot be whole living in the city. I guess we know that. We are, not, uh, we are an agrarian people. So that investment paid off for me, okay? We have our staff, we have food growing in abundance. Speaking of investment, one of the best investments that you and I can make is to invest in our mother land, growing food. I have an article that just came to me. The biggest mango producers in Africa, 35,000 acres of mango growing in the desert. In Egypt, the number one producers of mango in Africa. If they can grow 35,000 acres of mangoes in the desert, guess what you and I can do in a place like Ghana? 
and has rivers from the north to the south. We are actually sitting on so much wealth that we can't even count. It would take us a thousand years to count all the wealth that we have. But most importantly, our mind is a real gold mine. So we got a great crew lined up for you to meet you. But before we get started, I'd like to bring on the brother that helped make this happen. We met 15, 16, 17 years ago. He'll tell you the exact number because he knows the date. He came to Ghana and we met and he said, David, I want to bring people to Africa and I need help in Ghana to make it happen when they come. And we've been doing this consistently and he has brought millions of dollars to Africa. Collectively, we have brought lots of money to Africa. Many people have come to Africa and invested with our help. So you're at the right place at the right time with the right person. Let's bring forward Brother Bumani to give us a word of um, encouragement and let's welcome him. Brother Bumani is going to bring you up. <laughs> 